I'm Angela and this is Retro Couch. Here I will be reacting to my guilty pleasure, horror movies. I'm talking slashers, psychological thrillers, um, mysteries with an element of horror to them. That's my jam. <laughs> now I've seen all of the big four, the Freddy, the Jason, the Michael, the Pinheads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to movies that are less popular. The decades that I'll be looking at are the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments. Okay, so today's movie is going to be 1986's Witchboard. Um, I don't know much about this movie. Um, I know it's about a possession. <laughs> Someone gets possessed by a Ouija board or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. For some reason, um, possession movies always scare me more than any other kind of horror movies because I always feel like it's something that could actually happen. I believe in like spirits and ghosts, stuff like that. So it kind of messes with my mind. But that's enough of me babbling and let's just get the show on the road. Witchboard. I miss house parties. How can you believe in spirits if you don't believe in God or Satan? There's been evidence of their existence. Eyewitness accounts, photographs, recordings, you name it. And I've contacted someone. Which one is Ouija board? Ouija. One is pronounced Ouija, not Ouija. It comes from the French and German words for Yes, we and ya. Ouija. Ouija. to the planchette is as strong as it can be. Are you saying that the spirits actually come through our bodies? Oh, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. You letting the spirit into your body is perfectly safe. All right, one more thing before we begin. The spirits are lousy spellers, and a lot of them like to lie. So just to play it safe, I'm going to try to con... David, are you here? Can you hear me? Can I talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. How old are you, David? Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> but that wasn't David. Well, then who was it? I don't know. Like I said, they like to lie sometimes. How do you know it was David? Well, David was ten when he died, not eight. Besides, we have a special signal that no other spirit knows. David, can you hear me? Would you like to talk to us? David, is that you? Doing a figure eight. That's David's signal. Would you like to speak to him? I don't know what to say. <laughs> David, do you know me? I'm sorry, the first time that I feel that thing move by itself I'll be done careful Jim you're upsetting David what's he gonna do haunt me David are you all right he's all right he's just a little dead that's all shut up Jim David are you all right last flight back to limbo
Thanks a lot, Moror. <laughs> this is my fault. Those are brand new tires. Now, how do you explain it? <laughs> I don't know, man. And so David burst his tires? That's when you say no more playing with spirits. If he can make physical contact, you're good. I'm good. He's mine. What the hell? Sucker, you could have killed me. Yeah. Twinkies in my lunch. So oh, there it is, right there. Hello, Linda. This is Brandon. I just realized I left my Ouija there the other night. Mm -hmm. Can you bring it to class this Friday? I'm having some friends over Sunday, and they want to use it. Besides, I want to contact David and see if he calmed down yet. Well, I'll see you Friday. Bye. Yes, let's contact the spirit to make sure it's okay. David, is it true that you can really choose your next parents? The tests, they were positive. And she's pregnant. She just met this spirit yesterday and she wants it to be her baby. Where are you? Man, don't tell me you bought that crap with Brandon and Edward. Oh. <laughs> what is it with you guys anyway? Linda, I guess. At least that's when the friendship ended. You guys were friends? Oh. I bet she came between them. That's why he's such a dick. He pissed. He wanted her back. That's why they probably stopped being friends because he, uh, she came in between them as when they were friends. He thinks I stole Linda from him. Mm -hmm. Did you? No. No. I didn't even know they knew each other. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> so he just hates him. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't want to see her with with anybody else. And it just happened to be his old best friend or something. I don't know. Ugh. You're a lazy scumbag. You know that. Employment means nothing to me, pal. Oh. Oh. Dear. David, are you here? David did it. David did it. David did it. <laughs> David did it. Uh, my name is Dewhurst. Lieutenant Dewhurst. Police? Homicide. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Mm -hmm. I'm investigating Mr. Salvador's death. Wait a minute. What, what police people come to someone's funeral and start asking people 
questions at the funeral. I mean, the body is right behind them. And he's sitting there questioning them. That is just so disrespectful. I believe Mr. Salvador was murdered. The ropes holding the sheetrock on the scaffolding were cut, apparently with some kind of a hatchet. Mm -hmm. It was David. I understand that you were with him when the sheetrock fell. Now, is there any chance that the killer could have been aiming for you? And you lost your hatchet that same day. They trying to say he did it. Uh-uh. Have you found it yet? No. No, I had to buy a new one. Hmm. Touche. I'm sorry for intruding here. No, you ain't sorry for intruding. If that was the case, you would have waited and not come on the freaking funeral day. Here she go again, messing with that that Ouija board by herself. What are you doing here? I tried to call, but your phone was dead. And you drove all the way out here to tell me that? No. All right, when someone uses a Ouija alone, like Linda, she's very susceptible to the spirits she contacts. Mm -hmm. And the wrong spirit will take advantage of this. First, he'll be extremely helpful and friendly, so that she's lured into using the board more and more. Pretty soon, all she wants to do is use the board. Everything else, like going to classes, becomes unimportant. This is called progressive entrapment. Sounds like a drug addict. <laughs> when she reaches this stage, the spirit changes. He starts to frighten and terrorize her, gradually breaking down her resistance. And once that's done, he's able to possess her. <gasps> possess her baby! I knew it! He wants to be in the baby! What you're telling me is, Damn it, Tim, I'm serious! <laughs> I know. I'm not saying that it's a demon, just the spirit of someone evil. Evil when he was alive and evil now that he's dead. I want to bring a medium by your apartment as soon as possible to exercise the spirit. You're serious, Jim. How do you think I knew all those things about Linda? Those are all symptoms of progressive entrapment. They're also all symptoms of pregnancy. You don't even love her. Let me tell you something. You haven't talked to me in two How years. Do you know? So don't stand there and tell me. And when you get tired of Linda, you're gonna walk away from her too. Shut up, Brandon. Just like you did with school. Just like you did with your parents. Just like you did with school. Shut up! What is with them two? There's a phone call for you in the form of three. It's something about Linda. Is she alright? Your expert? Where'd you find her? The circus? Okay, so she's a bit strange. A bit strange? Around. Her head looks like a friggin' rainbow. Okay. I'm gonna make contact now, so... Whatever what? happens, stay in your seat, alright? If you stay on top, contact me. Ah, uh, bummer. I forgot my crystal ball. <laughs> Humor and overly 
of a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like her. <laughs> Frightening her. She won't talk to me anymore. Because of him. Jim. speaking through is a psychic. That was too simple. That was too simple. That was too easy. It was too easy. It ain't over. It ain't over. This ain't over. It ain't over. You ever heard of the word malfader before? Malfader? He's only 10 years old? Yeah. Whoa. He must have taken some mega vitamins because he's a real toughie. coming to get you made him leave The Ouija board in there. Sarah Beth is dead. What? Someone or something pushed her out a window. Jesus. Do you suspect that 
suspected something about David. She was going to check on it. I think David killed her. Yeah, and he probably killed Lloyd. But that time, I think he was after you. Man, are you listening to yourself? Mm -hmm. You're telling me that there's a 10-year-old ghost flying around Fairfield killing people. I know it sounds She killed the guy, the friend because he was trying to get to him because he's trying to get him rid of him so she can have her all to himself. Then he killed the the uh, psychic because the psychic tried to exercise him. It's all just to get to her. Man, that's impossible. I boxed it myself. Well, maybe Linda removed it when you weren't looking. She's obsessed with it, Jim. Mm -hmm. Well, then I just have to find the damn thing and get rid of it. It's too late for that. Linda is so open now. I don't think David needs it anymore. Most spirits are trapped in their own world and they can't enter ours without some kind of help like a medium or a Ouija. Or someone that's been opened by progressive entrapment. Mm. Eventually, he'll possess her. That's why I'm going to Big Bear. What's in Big Bear? That's where David claims he died. For all I know, he's been lying to me since the first time I contacted him. he's responsible he, he's the one that brought the Ouija board to the party because he wanted to show off his cool skills mm -hmm. look at you David are you here strung out nothing now he's already out of the board okay sorry I had, to, I had to take a potty break but we are going to continue with the movie and I had to grab my sweater because I was a little chilly too let's continue with wishboard so now he's thinking he killed her too did you get her throat slit before she went through her window <gasps> oh what do you think her throat was slit with the hatchet a hatchet? Whatever it was. Her throat matched the ropes that were cut on the construction site. Have you found your hammer yet? No. I guess it just vanished. You could smoke in a hospital back then? How's the baby? Linda missed her appointment yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to tell her, but she's not pregnant. Mm. Well, wait a minute. I'm sorry. So. Can I see her? So I guess he's just trying to possess her then. I thought he was trying to possess the baby, but there is no baby. Okay. So he's just trying to possess her. I'm going with you. What's our first move when we get there? 
Big Bear Public Library. A gasoline explosion aboard a small motorboat claimed the life of 10-year-old David Simpson early yesterday morning. I'm going to check out David's grave. Why? Why not? Oh, Jim, don't! Let's go to a cemetery and go check out the grave. David's parents died on the same day, less than two weeks ago. What? Did David killed his parents? What happened to us, man? We used to be like brothers. Mm -hmm. I didn't steal her from you, you know that. I know. You're still in love with her. Mm -hmm. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. He still wanted her. What does she see in you that she didn't see in me? I make her laugh. So did I. Yeah. But only in the bedroom. <laughs> so he did want to be he he was just jealous and it was about her but David at the hospital oh no dream I like her robe. <laughs> mm -mm. This has got to be a dream. Mm -mm. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I knew it was a dream. <laughs> okay. Man. Another Ouija Haven't board. Have we seen enough of these? We don't need it to contact David. Man, I got a real bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Me too. What are you doing, man? I thought we had to put this thing on our knees. Not this time. He smoked so much. David can't hurt us here. We're too far away. Besides, he can't do anything while she's sleeping. She's under sedation, right? Yeah. I think you should stay. Of course, she's not. Test. David, why are you terrorizing Linda? T. T. David, do you mean you're not terrorizing Linda? The, the, the one that that psychic lady was talking about. The guy, the other guy. It's not David. You were at Jim's party, weren't you? Yeah. You flattened my tire? Yeah. Did you kill Lloyd at the construction site? No. And you didn't kill Zarabeth? No. But you did speak to us through her. No. It's the McAvoy or whatever that guy name is. The one that she said. 
E B Evil is McAvoy. Is this spirit powerful? Did it force you out of Jim's apartment? Mm -hmm. Is this spirit's name Malfador? Malfador, that's it. That's it, McAvoy. Malfador, yeah, Linda that's it. Linda never actually contacted you all the time she was using my Ouija. No. Who is Malfador? H. E R Who is her? David, do you mean Linda? No. Well then who is her? Who is her? What's the matter? Hey. Didn't you say they were lousy spellers? That's right. David, did you miss the bell? He's only ten, so you have to think about. One more time, slowly. Who is Malfador? H. E. R. Sometimes, David. Can't you get it back? No, no, David. What, what is he trying to say? I don't here. No, David. H E R. E here. He's here. Malfader is here. He can't be. That would mean. That. He's here. Friends dead, dude. Watch out, it, the malfader is behind you. Look at her. Looking like a dope fiend. Looking for that Ouija board. Uh uh uh. Looking like a little addict. A spirit junkie. <laughs> That ain't David. David, 
are you? David, what have you done with Jim? David, answer me, goddammit. Uh -oh. Carlos Malfinger was a fairly notorious mass murderer in his day. He killed nine people. Chopped them all up with an axe. He look evil. Look at him. What happened to him? Is he still alive? No, the police finally caught up to him around 1930. Shot him down at his own home. There it is. That's their place. Belinda Brewster. She's a patient in room 310. No, no. 375. It's an emergency. What? When? So he was already like there, dormant. And when they brought the Ouija board and started messing with that spirit, he latched onto the Ouija board. Mm. So he was always there. Got it. See? So you don't fuck around with no Ouija board. They're coming for you, Barbara. Near the board. <gasps> there he is. No fader. Huh. Oh, he got your girl, honey. He got your girl. Jesus Christ. Why do they have to tear up the place, though? Just because you possess somebody, don't mean you have to tear up the place. Oh, he got her. He is in her now. I'm trying to help you. Fine, then stop moving. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can't kill the girl. Aunt James, what are you waiting for? I I love you. That's the first time he said it. Jim. Oh, come on. By the power of love. God, Linda. It's not that easy. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I've got to say her uh, possessed outfit is pretty cool. Don't move, asshole! Rest your feet in the back of your apartment. Now! Now he's going to be caught red-handed. And she's going to get away with everything. Miss Brewster, can you stand? Mm? You won't kill her, James. It'll buy us some time. Time to fight you. Time for Linda to close the portal. Only you can do that, James. Hmm? You haven't figured it out yet, have you, James? You're the portal. Not Linda. What? You're the one I opened. You're the one I terrorized by torturing Linda and by killing your friends. Oh. 
and is mine as long as you live. You're the portal, James. Let's go ahead, James. Close the portal. So he was killing everybody around him, not around her. Uh? You can't. You don't love her that much. Is anybody really worth it? Think about it. Oh my god, that was horrible. So he's dead? Uh, well, I guess he closed the portal. Because he killed himself. Well, he didn't kill himself, but he died. But. Oh. Hey, man, what? So he just hurt his neck. What? A Ouija board. <laughs> Gee, I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. I wonder if it still works. With all those holes in it? It had you thinking that it was all about her but it was actually all about him and I thought that maybe she was trying to he was trying to possess him his her baby when then we kind of find out that it wasn't a baby it was just he was possessing her um I don't like the way it ended uh I feel like the ending was stupid because at first okay I was gonna say Ugh, because it was the power of love but then that wasn't it but then he shoots the Ouija board. But didn't the guy, his friend said, Brandon said that um, after a while that the Ouija board didn't matter anymore because the spirit already came through at a certain point. So kill, like killing the Ouija board with the gun shouldn't have done anything because it was already possessing her. So yeah. then he then the dude says that he was the portal so i was like okay so maybe they have to, he has to kill himself to save his girl but that wasn't it either so by him shooting up the ouija board it got the spirit out of her it had me going all the way up until the end like the like after his friend died it just like it just went downhill from there for me um I don't feel I'll be watching this again. It was okay. Like act one, act two was pretty good. Set up and then her being like possessed and everything. But once it got like to act three, the last like maybe 15 minutes of it, it just, after his friend died, it just like, it just went downhill from there. Um, if I was to give this a rating from one to five, I would honestly give this like a two. Cause I, I would never watch this again. Um, and that's my reaction to Wishboard 1986. If you have any like theories or any comments, please leave them at the bottom, of, in the comment section, of course. Um, please like and subscribe to this channel. And 
I will see you on my next movie. Thanks.